How's it going everyone, Boros, I'm here. So uh, in today's tutorial, uh, we're gonna be taking a look at how to run PS4 games and apps from a USB drive, how to move your games and apps to a USB drive and run them from there. Uh, so to do this, there are two uh, methods. Uh, there's the app to USB payload and there's the items flow homebrew app. So uh, the first one that we're gonna be uh, doing is the app to USB payload. Uh, for this, I recommend that you get a USB drive that is 3.0 if you plan on running games from that USB. Uh, if you get the 2.0 USB, uh, games will be uh, so slow and they will be stuttering and you will have issues. So make sure that you get USB uh, 3.0. So once you have your USB, uh, the thing that you have to do is download the configuration file app to USB from this GitHub page. You go to this download button and you just download it if you get this uh, prompt in Chrome just make sure to download this unverified file so once you have this file uh, downloaded make sure it's the app to USB ini has been downloaded you're gonna go to the USB drive and you're gonna format it as an X fat because if you're because this is the, the format that's supported and if you want to copy games that are larger than a four gigabyte so you have to format it of course you have to back up any data that you have on that drive first so now that you have formatted the usb drive what we're going to do is we're going to open it and create a folder here and call it ps4 in all caps and now we're going to open it and we're going to put the configuration file inside this folder. So we're going to copy app to USB config file and we're going to paste it here. And now we're going to go to the uh, PS4, go to gold hand settings, and then go to cheat settings, show title ID, and then go to the home screen. And we're going to copy and memorize the ID of the game that you want to copy to the USB drive. Now we're going to open up to USB and we're going to scroll down here to the bottom and you go to this mode move here and you're going to delete the slash forward and then you're going to type the uh, ID of the game that you want to copy to the USB drive here. For example, we're going to do this. So uh, if you remove the slash forward and you type the ID of the game here, that game will be uh, moved to the USB drive. But if you don't remove the slash forward, everything on your PS4 will be backed up to uh, the USB drive unless you type an ID here then uh, the game will not be backed up. So if you add the slash forward, it's like uh, move all apps. So once you do that, you just go to save configuration file. So here, uh, make sure to keep the slash forward. Do not delete it because if you delete this, you will not copy the updates. If you don't want to copy the updates, if you don't want to move the DLC, you can just delete that slash forward. But if you add it, the updates and the DLCs will also be copied. So once you're done, click on save and we're going to close this file. And now what you have to do is go to the browser and then we're going to type the host of Caro, which is caro218.ir slash 1100 and we're going to run the app to USB payload, which is here. And uh, of course, it requires the bin load server to be running. So uh, we're going to run the app to USB first so we can see the message that it's asking for bin loader to be activated. So this here means that you don't have the bin loader server activated. So go to gold hand settings. And then go to server settings and enable the bin loader server and now you are ready to run the app to usb uh, payload on ps4 11.00 jailbreak 
So uh, most of these payloads here has been tested and ported to 11.00. Now click on app to USB and it should start moving your games and apps to the uh, USB drive. As you can see you are getting the notifications. Gives you a first warning that this payload will copy the files. Two warnings. So uh, to do this uh, you should have like one only one USB drive in your uh, PS4 uh, if you have to uh, insert two USB drives then you will have to specify in the configuration file that the mounted USB is either 0 or 1 so to avoid all of this confusion just make sure to use only one USB drive at a time now this process here of moving apps and games it might take longer, it depends on the size of your game. If you have big games, they will take a, a longer time. If you have uh, small games, like only you only select a few games to move, then it's not going to take long. And all depending on the read and write of your uh, USB drive. If you get a slow USB drive 2.0, it's going to be uh, slow moving these apps, big games and apps to that USB drive. So, uh, as you can see here, it's still copying the files and processing them. So the thing about this, um, this app to USB, the disadvantage, is that you cannot restore the apps and games from the USB drive. What you have to do is reinstall the package that, his, that has been backed up to the uh, USB drive. Uh, unlike the uh, items flow method that we're going to take a look at it later. Uh, so it has been completed Let's just go ahead and check if the uh, Files has been copied to the USB drive. We're gonna open the PS4 Explorer and then you are gonna click on the of course root axis and the left d-pad open PS4 and of course it's gonna copy every uh, game ID, but they're all empty the ones that it copied is this one here so you can see the files have been copied here, the icon, the pic, the uh, package file and everything. So now to give you an idea, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the USB drive and then try to run this game to show that it has been moved. So you cannot start the application, data is corrupted because the entire game's package has been moved to a USB drive and now I removed the USB drive. So now what I'm going to do is plug in the USB drive again and then start the game, try to start the game. So USB drive is plugged in. Now I'm going to try to run the game. And as you can see, it ran without any error messages. So that's how you do it from a USB drive, uh, from the app to USB payload. Now we're going to take a look at the items flow game manager which is uh, easier I think and is better so uh, click OK loading games list and uh, if you fail to check check I'm gonna press no so you're gonna go to the game that you want to back up to or move to a USB drive for example we're gonna choose a small one which is this one right here scroll down to move to USB and press X or circle depending on your PS4 system. So when you press X, it's going to give you an option to move the app, the game, or the DLC, or the update. So you're going to press and it's going to start backing up and copying the file to the USB drive. See now it has been moved successfully to the USB drive and we're going to check the location of items flow on the USB drive to see if the package is there. Go to the items flow folder, open the apps folder and you can see the ID of the game that we copied and here it is. This is the package file of the game. So it did not copy the icons and uh, other stuff, it just copies the package file. 
Now to back up, uh, to restore the game from the USB drive if you want to use it, if you just want to use your USB and you want to copy games back to the PS4, you click on restore from USB and it will restore the game and reinstall it back to the PS4. App to USB does not have this uh, option on the payload. So, so uh, that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, I hope this uh, tutorial is helpful to you. I hope those tutorials are helping you. So uh, if you find this tutorial helpful, if you enjoy this kind of videos, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any tutorials and any uh, jailbreak news and homebrew news. That's it for me. Take care. See you soon.